Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish the Conqueror. Uh, I'm glad you're still here, I guess, after my ranting last episode. That was... I guess I had to let off some steam, as it were. I, I, I'm just going to try and not uh, worry about that kind of thing. You know, let's just not discuss politics, uh, or I guess in this, ca in this case, uh, game design or game writing. And just focus on actually playing. Uh, and that means that I want to tackle one of these dungeons. We have Pagaren's Stake, we have Fort Banaspire, we of course still have the Gandalf Estate, and I guess now, if there, th there really never was anything holding me back, any real reason to not go there right away, but there definitely isn't any more now. Uh, we have the Lair of Gorge, which we have cleared the path to. I guess I have not fully cleared the path to Nagafen. Not that I'm sure I want to go there quite yet. The, the previous Naga dungeon was actually kind of tough. And this one is only going to be worse. However, you know, it's it's an interesting one story-wise, so I would like to go there. I'm just a little bit, well, not afraid of it, but it, it's I think it's going to take quite a bit of effort, and I'm more in the mood for something relatively quick and easy right now. To, uh, you know, get my mind of things. Okay, it looks like uh, we might have... Oh, actually, we could have just gone through here. Huh, didn't see that passage. All right. Not that I was looking particularly hard. So, yeah, I, we might have dealt with the only mandatory encounter, even though that one wasn't even mandatory, uh, if I hadn't decided to, to chase those snakes. Well, at least now we've discovered this location, and we... Don't have to worry about or don't have to deal with these other wandering snakes here, which most definitely are not going to give me any kind of reward. So you know what? Why don't we go ahead and just get maybe the least interesting area out of the way? We'll see. Maybe if this goes very quickly, uh, we can even start tackling one of the others. Perhaps that... Um, the castle nearby, which uh, certainly is a much more interesting location. You're at the entry to an Okatish iron mine. It's Pegaren's stake, according to the sign. You expect the standard Okatish greeting, sullen and full of dislike, but otherwise polite and helpful. Is that really polite and helpful? Uh, I'm not sure I would describe it that way, but I suppose in this area, not not so much in the um, Borgen controlled area. Oh well. Instead, you face a grim line of armed warriors waiting to face you down. Yes. Are they? Immediately hostile? Okatish Raider. Uh, not immediately, but we know that this place has been uh, taken over by brigands. That's why we're here. Hmm, okay. Game does let me ignore them entirely. This room is a hideous mess, full of blood and bones. This is a gruesome. This is gruesome evidence of what might have happened to the miners here. Yes, if I needed that, I'm gonna take the money the, those brigands curiously left alone. Very unbrigand-like, if you ask me. But what do I know? Okay. Well, maybe this is just a completely unconnected, unrelated. Uh, extra encounter, but I suppose we're here, and um, since there is a pudding right there, we're not going to be allowed to to leave now, so we might as well deal with those. Oh, well, it did not initiate combat right away, but, I mean, yeah, it was going to. And this is indeed unrelated to the rest of the area, seems like. Can you... I guess you can't shoot from there, huh? No? This. And that should be the first one down, um, except it evaded. And despite being hasted, Atanto is just not getting his turn. Mm. I mean, that thing's slowed. You know what? Why don't you go ahead and... Huh? Really? No clear path, huh? I wonder if from here, perhaps... Mm -hmm. mm. There's probably no line of sight either. But if I walk here, that might work out. Bit of a risk. Okay, that worked. I would have preferred him to end up more in the middle, so to increase the chances of those slimes 
uh, grouping around him more, but we might be fine. Okay, let's just finish off this pudding here. That one didn't do anything. Okay, they are gathering around him as planned. Okay, blow. Let's finish this one off quickly. And since this is completely unrelated to the rest of the dungeon, apparently, just for some extra loot, um, in theory we could leave once we're done with this fight, heal up, and tackle the the brigands. They keep fresh. But, uh, well, I guess it depends on how battered we are after this encounter. It, so far it seems to be going fine. And saying that, of course, guarantees that it's going to go very sour right about now. I mean, I don't really see how it could, but then again. And we're taking some damage, but nothing devastating so far. Gonna... Mm. Well, I, I suppose it's a good thing I didn't try to use a skill. So I didn't waste that energy. I suppose we should be fine just killing this thing with normal attacks now. What was that, exactly? Uh, no idea what that was supposed to do. It's dead. All right. Well, that was not very difficult. Can't get there. Come on, please. This is just a silly game. Wood, iron, and a folded steel rune. Plus five damage to Ariel. That's very specific to Ariel. I mean, I suppose I'm gonna keep this around for our Ariel campaign, where we're definitely going to end up fighting some Ariel one way or the other. You know what? You can bring one of these. I should have uh, done that thing I did last time and quick save to, to get the most out of the potion, but uh, it's, I think we should be fine. Alright, anyway, that was a nice little distraction, but now for the main course. Ah. The raiders of the entrance at the entrance of this mine have made an effort to disguise themselves as miners. It's kind of comical. The picks they hold and the dirt smudged on their faces doesn't keep you from recognizing what they are in an instant. One of these Ukatish steps forward, drops a rusty pick, and puts his hand on his blade. This is Pagarin's stake. I'm Droff, and I say this is our claim. Totally legitimate. You don't take one step forward. <laughs> You're well armed for a miner. Master Kemlo of Chin told me to, the, to visit this place. I mean, I suppose he did. I wouldn't have remember, remembered his name, but I know we have a quest here, so... The raiders look at each other. They know that... If, uh, they know that further deceit will be useless. They drop their picks and draw their weapons. Okay, fair enough. That suits me just fine. Okay, and now we initiate combat with you, which is just what I wanted. Okay, worked on all of them. Who are you? Okay, just a random raider. Buffing his friends. Fair enough. You know what? It's probably complete overkill for these for this first group of brigands. Oh wow, yeah, they're actually not particularly tough. Although that was a pretty heavy hit, considering it was an armored opponent. Can finish him off. Mm, sure, you can do that. And, wow, nice one. I think we'll try to uh, get the rest of them just with normal oh. attacks. Should be no problem at all. Okay, he was attacked twice. Oh, evaded. Okay. Maybe we'll get him before he acts again. Mm, maybe? Oh, yep. Yeah, that certainly did the trick. Alright. Yeah, oh yeah. You're more damaged than I thought. Actually gonna wait for one more ticket. Oh, bleeding there. Pretty heavy. Alright. And yeah, we, we're actually looking 
just fine in terms of energy consumption so far. You enter the mine. It's quiet. Nobody's working it right now. Droff's raiders were just holding it. There are lots of tracks in the dust and mold on the floor. The brigands outside were far from the only warriors holding this place. Uh, mold on the floor? Why, why would that indicate more people being here? I guess uh, mold from the fan outside where carried in on the boots of the, the raiders or something. I don't know. Okay, got a little bit of a maze here. Not, obviously not in any risk of getting lost or anything. Oh, hey, I'll take money. Thank you very much. Oh, a single serpent. Uh, hello? There is a serpent coiled up in this cavern. It looks up at you and hisses. Hello? Hiss? This is about as far as the conversation goes. I have another question. Hello. Okay, never mind then. That is strange. No idea what that's supposed to indicate. There was a wolf there just now. I saw it. Oh, there are more wolves, actually. Quite a few more. Hmm. A little bit surrounded here, but... That being said, if we stay like this, they can only attack our tank, which is just what I want. Okay, buffed. I mean, you can attack from here, except you can't. I mean, I guess you can stand there and attack that wolf. This way, other wolves can attack her from here, I guess, technically, but... We'll see. Huh, that was not a whole lot. Okay, this one's going to yeah. Fuck the damage. Oh, I'll use a heavy attack, I guess. Rasluka hasn't had a single turn yet. What's going on there, actually? That's really strange. Bleeding, so this one's probably also going to die. Yep, sure enough. Okay, there we go. Hellhound. Heavy blow. Before it starts breathing fire, ideally. Okay, bleeding twice. Good start. Evaded. Not so good. There's another one. Pretty much as expected. Okay, you can step up here and hit all of them. You can actually use a shock against this hellhound. Wow, very good. Unfortunately, it's not bleeding, so... Um, do I risk it getting another turn? Or do I use her expected stronger attack more efficiently? I think I'm going to play it safe. Of course, that does mean that both of these wolves are going to live a little bit longer. And Yeah, okay, that one... Did a critical 10 damage, I guess that wasn't so bad. Evaded. Nice. Ah. Well, most of you evaded. That's fine. Took very little damage in the end. Not so bad. And we get three whole chests here. Iron, which goes to waste. Swamp Runner leather, which... Uh, yeah, just isn't super good. It's only tier 1 armor, which everyone could use, but obviously no one really wants it. The poison resist is nice, sure, but... So, I guess I never did anything with this, huh? Didn't even stow it away. Okay, fair enough. Something I need to worry about right now. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that right now we actually don't need all that extra iron, but eh, it's fine. really wasn't all that long ago that it seemed like we would never get all the iron we we need for, for you know maintaining all the things that we could build and buy and now we're literally drowning in it well not literally but figuratively drowning in it you enter a huge natural cavern in the center is a remarkable site someone has built a tower here an actual stone fortress towering over you in this cave uh avernum hello the stone of the tower has a strangely smooth, reflective surface. Buildings like this are usually made with magic. You can sense the energy in the air. This is unusual for the Okatish. You haven't met a lot of mages here. Huh. Yeah, also... 
That's certainly not what I expected. I expected just a regular old band of brigands, so maybe this dungeon is going to be more interesting after all. Oh, okay, I was going to say, didn't I see for a split second uh, some large red wolf? And it's even larger than I thought, as it turns out. Uh, you are somewhat tough, but I think I'm not going to buff this time. It's always nice to apply two stacks of bleeding right away. Fear resistant, nice. I like it. You can step there right away. Some weakening would be nice, just saying. Well, I guess I'll take more bleeding. Also, I'm going to approach this wolf from the side, so just in case it decides to breathe fire or something. I don't even know if it can do that, just because it's red, you know. Okay. Um, I suppose you can go ahead and heal him once. The rest of the party should be... Yeah, should have no problem finishing it off. All right. We got a few more wolves patrolling the area, it looks like. Evade it. Good. Easy. And one more. Oh, there are... Oh, hi. There are quite a few more. Is this the tower, actually? I mean, this... I guess it's as good as the the graphics allow, but yeah, this doesn't look like much of a tower, honestly. But okay, let's uh, use our imagination, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to buff for this fight. Three of those big guys look a little bit threatening. Slightly threatening. Oh, it's your turn. Evaded. Okay, well, fine. And you get your turn right away. Again. Alright. Hmm. Can't quite reach, huh? Well, let's just finish off this one first and let them come to us. Although I would have liked to slow them all like this. And unfortunately, uh, actually, yeah, that will get them, get all three of them. And they were all affected. Very nice. Step out. Shoot that wolf, hopefully killing it. Ah, not quite. Okay, fine. Um, <clears throat> won't be able to poison all three of them. Okay, fine. At least now I can reach them. Heavy blow. Oh, okay, that one is trying to attack someone else. Oh, I really should be using her special attacks. It's kind of nice that only this wolf is currently able to do anything. Yep, <laughs> that one's just skipping its turns. This one is trying to get around. Maybe this will change its mind. Make it focus on uh, someone else instead. Yep, okay. Unfortunately, this one is still in the way here, so he won't be able to reach this one for a melee attack, but that should do the trick. This one is also going to die. Perfect. That was a really good hit. I like it. There it is. And with any luck, this one is going to die before it can do anything as well. Bleeding three times, and it's actually dead. Wow, awesome. That went really well. They weren't protecting anything, though, so I really did not have to deal with those at all. Okay, tower is all that's left, it looks like. Interesting. Oh, this looks like a trap if I ever saw one. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does. You hear an Okantish warrior shot. Now, that can't be good. 
You turn around, but too late. The gate behind you slams shut. Two cottage step out at the end of the corridor, ready to fling lances at you. Then two sections of stone wall to the south side, to the south slide out of the way. Okay. I was expecting them to, I don't know, there to be a spear trap or fire from, from the ceiling or fire from below or something. But I guess it's less spectacular than that. Alright. Combat starts right away, and that's actually really bad. Thankfully, we did we did save outside. I was the thing is I was not expecting just enemies to to ambush us here. I mean, as much or as as bad of an ambush this is for being as you know for being very very obvious. I I was more I was really expecting some sort of mechanical trap. Otherwise, I might have um, buffed beforehand. Thankfully, though, these people aren't super tough. Ah, okay, well, he's not quite dead. Oh, man. Don't die, please. That would really suck. You know what? I'm going to go with a single good heal for you for the time being. That was decently all right. Hmm, Kaddish Gorilla. I mean, a really good hit might one-shot you. It did. Way more than enough. Okay, she's getting a little bit low. Oh, actually, we're still partially buffed. I didn't even realize. Hmm. I'm... Gonna hope for a good damage here. Ah oh, man, not quite enough. Stun resisted. Thank you for that. You know what? Sure. Finish off that guy. So we don't need to worry about attacks coming from that direction. All right. I think we've reached a point where we want to do this. Uh, you drink one of these potions. Healing wave. That heals for a very decent amount, actually. That that heals for just about as much as her single target, but for the entire party, which is really not bad at all. You know what? Three enemies worth. Twenty-seven. I should not have her in such a vulnerable position there. Ouch. Then again... Oh, come on. Don't evade. Can't do that to me. Can you attack from there? Yes, you can. Thankfully. You can step away, heal yourself. Ah, this guy's way too well armored. You jerk. Stop shooting her. Oh, he's slowed. Oh, nice. He still got his turn. So that was completely useless, unfortunately. And that's that. My god. Okay, this was nasty. Maybe I should have... She was bleeding, huh? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, that's really stupid. Well, what can I do? Okay, fair enough. Um, I could have. Well, I, the thing is, I could have left to to revive her. I could have used one of my limited revival scrolls, but I no, I just wasn't going to. Not after losing someone for such a stupid reason. Okay, our positioning is a little bit more beneficial this time around. Yeah, actually, a lot more beneficial. You can definitely start. Dealing with these guys. Please, a really good hit. Oh, nice. I like it. They only have, yeah, they only have 80 hit points. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can finish off this one. Please kill off that one right away. Oh, really? That was not impressive. Okay. Good. This is, yeah, <laughs> such a better start. It's kind of ridiculous. Mm. 
Yes. Hell of a tentacle with that one. I don't know where he's trying to go. He literally cannot reach anyone that way. Uh, you know what? Forget about that, that guy then. Nice one shot. I like it. Kind of insane how how differently uh that was bad thankfully she ended up with an action left and he's just running what's he hoping to achieve how bizarre i can cannot tell if the ai is trying to reach one of the unreachable characters or or if he was actually afraid. I don't I didn't know that was or I didn't think that was a mechanic. Unlike uh Vernon where enemies just sometimes get scared after taking too much damage. Okay, well anyway, uh this yeah, it's it's ridiculous how how differently the same fight could go just because of well, very slight preparation beforehand. I don't even know if the um the blessing made that big of a difference in that case. I think it was I think uh, the the positioning actually might have had a bigger impact there, as minimal, as, you know, minor as that was. Also, just different combat rules makes such a huge difference. Just plain old luck. Oh, hi there, blood taker. Well, that didn't work so well for you. In fact, it looks like we're taking your blood. Oh hey, you're okay. You were not quite alone. There is a shaman. All right, you need to go. You know what? I'm not even going to buff for this fight. Uh, there might be more of them coming. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. Just use an attack spell here, huh? You hasted single target hasted that serpent. Okay, and I guess the serpent poisoned all of us, including itself. Uh, all right. Okay. I'm not judging. If that's what you think is the best course of action. I mean, it is only a stupid reptile. Nothing against reptiles. I have a turtle, but, I mean, I know from first-hand experience that they're not the brightest. Evaded? Really? That's annoying. See, as well as that Encounter downstairs went the second time around at least. About as poorly does this one go. Okay. Fine, let's go back to your melee weapon. There we go. And you can finally do this. Hopefully getting rid of all the debuffs. Eh, most of them. Wow. Actually, never mind. That's pretty bad. Exit combat. Not gonna let you die again. All right. Um, should I suck that up? Yeah. And two, and you're gonna heal again. Twenty-one. Just not a particularly good roll, but I'll take it. So did I? Speaking of taking it, um, never mind. Maybe I should have checked for more enemies first. Oh, you were the one who poison rained. Thank you for evading, everybody. That is much appreciated. You know what? Screw that guy. There you go. Stunned him, so that should mean that he's... before he can do anything. In fact, he is dead because he's bleeding. Uh. The jerk. Okay, so can I please check this in peace? Okay, I already did. I wasn't sure. Oh, hey, Hellhound. That, yeah, I was gonna say, that should only affect him. So, could have been worse. Not a lot worse, but still worse. I mean, single enemies are very rarely much of a problem. This vat is full of vegetables. Nice. Can we take some of those? Okay, I guess not. You turn the wheel. Oh, 
did that unlock this? I was kind of wonder out loud as to where the second staircase leads. And apparently it would have led to this locked room. Interesting. Okay, not the main chamber at the top of the tower quite yet. Quite a bit more gold though. Oh, there we go. That looks kind of final. Hello? There is a powerful Ukatish sorcerer waiting for you. Uh, waiting for you. <laughs> this is unusual. Wizardry is not a great aptitude of these people. This man is exceptional. He rises from his stool, ready to incinerate you. Then he sees the insignia on your chest. He stops short. You are a Havenite. Haven has returned to Sacramentum? He must have been out of touch for some time, apparently. You'd think that someone so powerful would have, you know, his sources for news. It's kind of old news at this point, too. Anyway. Uh, yes, Haven has returned. So, so you know that you shouldn't fight me. I mean, apparently. Hmm. I want to know what clan you're from. Does it matter? Not immediately. Hmm. So you know that you shouldn't fight me. Let's let's see if he's uh, open for negotiations, perhaps. Uh, per perhaps, perhaps. He clearly doesn't feel that way at all. Um, I don't know why you have returned, but I know it's bad for our people. Okay, never mind. King Borgen has grown confused and desperate for approval. You are far from civilization, Haven Knight. This gives us a chance. It makes you disappear before you can corrupt our mighty king. Uh, wait. So are you? Are you? Supporters of the king or not? I'm getting mixed messages here. You don't want your king to be corrupted, your mighty king to be corrupted, but you also call him confused and desperate for approval? Uh, I suppose you can feel both ways at the same time. Anyway, um, we'll do this as per usual. And okay, you're the sorcerer, so I guess I'm gonna focus on getting you. That worked. Let's see here. 90% mental resist. Yeah. But only 10% curse resist. So I th in theory, I think we should be able to confuse him. Or is that is the confusion itself a mental effect? I mean, I suppose it probably should be, now that I think about it. That being said, I mean, he's not the most tanky enemy I've ever fought. Sorry, Atanjo, but... Oh, he resisted, actually. Perfect. Uh, you're getting very low in energy. So, it looks like we might be done with this place for the most part. In fact, this is probably the final encounter, and there's, there might just be some more... some treasure in this room here. But yeah, it looks like he might have some kind of trick up his sleeve still. The sorcerer has a remarkable knack for magically manipulating stone. He snaps his fingers. A moment later, the piles of rock in the east end of the hall begin to move. Oh, okay. Hooked construct. Hooked as in full of hooks, I guess? Or hooked on something? Um, probably the former. Yeah, anyway. What was I saying? I don't, I don't even know anymore. You know what? Uh, construct against construct. How about that? Heavy attack. And another one to make sure. Ah, oh, he ah. died. Okay, no. Never mind. We did level up from it too. The source were false. You have taken this mine back from the raiders that stole it. Happily though, heavenly though, the wizard who created it is dead. The strange tower remains standing. It will make a nice home for the miners who work here. Now that the mine is unclaimed, you can sneak some workers in and extract iron for your own for your own forts. That will justify the time and effort you spent. Okay, that was a pretty good amount of experience. Ouch. Holy crap. That was a ton of damage. And we're also bleeding pretty heavily here. Not a huge fan of that. Um, let us take out these guys quickly. Thankfully, they are not very healthy. And also, thankfully, very thankfully, actually, 
those constructs disappeared, which I didn't even realize before. Uh. Nice. Okay, you definitely need to go ahead and uh, do some of this. I'm gonna move her a bit closer to Atantu so he benefits from the healer too. Okay. Is she really that susceptible, extra susceptible to bleeding, or is, has she just been getting unlucky? Oh, nice one. Okay, that worked out very well. Not a particularly hard dungeon at all. Quicksilver is nice. Lots of money. Well, some money, I guess. Fleetfoot ring. Speed bonus. Yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Not something I'm gonna use over anything else. This chest is full of mildewy clothes and rusty tools. Keeping anything clean in the Ukat in the Ukat swamps is impossible, as we've heard so many times at this point. Yet the sorcerer here has managed. Wrapped up in several sheets of paper, you find a square of white cloth. Interesting. You make note of it. Note, but we don't take it. Not even as a key item. Interesting. Hmm. I can only assume that it is going to be the the object of some sort of quest. Okay. Well. Well, this didn't take super long as far as dungeons go. Oh, also, thankfully this opened. Well, maybe that was the one upstairs. Maybe that didn't even. Maybe that didn't open the the uh, the door in front of it. I guess that would make more sense if that unlocked the gate downstairs and let me allowed me to get back out. Anyway. Um, yeah, this didn't take particularly long to to reclaim. Are you friends, actually? Hold on. Scruffy mine guards. They still want you to move on. Uh, well, I cleared out the bandits of, out of Pagaren's stake. I say you're not wanted here. The bandits take the hint. They bid you farewell, and they leave the region with all speed. Oh, okay. So they would have been hostile before, I guess. Can we interact with these? Oh, there we go. Weird. That's uh, the same as with the uh, with this group of... Uh, of uh, Lizards, I think, in front of the Dragon Slayer last time, where they just wouldn't uh, let me interact with them at all for some time. Kind of strange. Okay, anyway, uh, we cleared out this quest. Oh, once again you're ambushed by a naga, surrounded by enormous snakes. Didn't we kill the one that did that before? Uh, wait, you're not real, you're just illusions. The servants freeze a moment. They flicker, then they vanish in a cloud of mist. How strange. I'm pretty sure that was not an option for the first the first group of them. What was that all about? Who are you? Oh, I talked to you before, I guess. Let's not bother these good people any more than we already have. Anyway, uh, I just want to return to Chind. Where's... Chind is down here. And we can also just quick roll there. Turn in that quest. Um, clan hall, bottomless fan, mining office. Sounds like the right place to be. Yes. Um, Pagara's stake has been cleaned out. You tell Master Camlo the tale. He doesn't seem interested in the heroic details. I see. He makes some notes. Efficiently done. I will have gold and regular shipment of iron sent to Haven as payment for your efforts. You helped. Uh, but there is one thing I wonder. What is that? I still suspect that a rival clan sent those bandits. Did you find any evidence of this? I found evidence that the mine was taken by Borgen raiders. Oh yeah, I suppose the guy was supportive of Borgen. In a way. You show him the square of white cloth, which we never took. Well, I suppose we did take it after all. He takes notes for later for a later meeting with the Brock leaders. Yes, very Borgenish. I went like, <laughs> Is it though? I I don't remember pure white ever being mentioned as the Borgen clan color unlike uh, the colors of the other clans, the other major clans which have been mentioned multiple times over but uh, I guess maybe I just missed it, who knows uh, he takes notes for a later meeting, right, uh, yes, very Borgenish I will make sure the Brook learn about this it will make them unhappy, but it is a fact and must be faced why would it make the Brock unhappy? To know that there are Borgen invaders in their land, I guess? 
He gives you a punch of gold. An extra payment for your aid. Thank you, Haven Knight. Uh, my forts could still use resources, I guess? If you have more? Understood. However, I don't have anything to offer you. Hmm. Okay. Get some, some reward, though. There wasn't a different option to ask him for, for another quest before, but I guess uh, there just isn't. Which, you know, is fair enough. Also, the mystery of the white cloth has been solved immediately, which I suppose is a good thing. All right. Um, well, that's that out of the way. Getting even more wooden iron right now, which is great. We do have two quests in that place. We still have this place to deal with, and honestly, I really don't like those Ganel. I'm honestly, um, honestly, I'm saying honestly a lot. The um, the Borgen have certainly moved up on, in my list of least liked Ukat clans, but the Ganel are still up there, so I think maybe I'm gonna tackle their estate next time. Um, gonna quickly return to my fort to heal. Right, we also need to level up. There's really not a whole lot left I really want to invest in. Let's see here. In fact, oh yeah, I did take a point away from this. I did max out both Restoring Rain and Healing Wave at this point, and everything else that's really important too. So I think we're going to do this to give us back the level of evasion that we used to have at some point. Um, everything else I'm just going to do off camera and worry about later. Uh, just quickly want to return to you? No, you're just a quartermaster. Um, to the chief, now that I've talked to uh, King Borgen. Um, let's discuss this fort, resources. Where should I look? No. Should I expect? Lukatish. Advance. Didn't I have a quest? What? What are the quests I still have there? Reclaiming the Ukat and Kingborg in the 53rd. Uh, what do they ask me to do specifically? Go discuss Haven's Treaty with him. I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. He's being incredibly unreasonable and insolent. Personally insulting me for no reason. Um, I have no plans of talking to him ever again. Except on the battlefield, perhaps. Although I... I doubt he's going to attend personally. Okay, well, and this one... Deal with him. See if he's willing to submit. Uh, well, no, not to our conditions. And... Uh, who do I return to for this one? The general? It just doesn't say, does it? Okay. Well, maybe I'll, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the general and see if um, he'll let me advance that quest, even though I didn't really deal with the king, I suppose. I don't know if the, the game just doesn't consider that part of the, of the quest or of the storyline progressed at this point. Maybe just maybe just leaving isn't, isn't considered a valid option, a valid response. If so, I don't know, maybe I'll return and actually talk to him and then refuse his his uh, offer, or I mean, not so much an offer, but more like a more like demands, I guess. Anyway, uh, we'll we'll see about that. Uh, for the time being, I'll make a cut here. And as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.